So for this derivative, we're going to need to use the quotient rule. So if you've got a quotient, let's call it functions a and b, then the derivative is going to be take the derivative of the top one first and leave the bottom one alone. Multiply those. Subtract when you leave the top one alone and take the derivative of the bottom one. And then it's divided by the bottom one being squared. So here the derivative of this g function is going to be, I always like to just go ahead and say the denominator is squared first of all. Doesn't take much thinking, might as well just get it done. Then for the numerator, take the derivative here. So the derivative of one is zero. The derivative of this will be negative two x. And then the denominator is left alone. And then subtract when you leave the one minus x squared alone. And then take the derivative of this, which is going to be a two. And then we need to do some algebra to simplify, especially the numerator. So we've got the derivative of g is going to be, so distribute this, so there's going to be negative four x squared and negative 6x. Distribute the negative and the 2 is going to be negative 2 and positive 2x squared. And you don't need to multiply out the 2x plus 3 squared, just leave it the way it is. And then just combine like terms in the numerator and we'll be done. So the denominator stays the same the whole time. And then for x squared, there is a grand total of negative 2x squared. And then minus 6x and minus 2.